This year we didn't have uh, too many problems with the sugar cane aphids. The populations were lower than we expected compared to 2014. Reasons for that are uh, tolerant varieties, um, natural enemies that were abundant. Uh, we have also insecticides that uh, growers use preventively. And in addition to that, um, is, um, the most important problem is the weather. Weather was a kind of a factor that most likely uh, influenced on the low numbers of sugar cane aphids. Now, uh, these uh, populations were very similar just across the border in Mexico. Uh, growers there didn't have too much problems. Still, some growers uh, use uh, insecticides as a um, preventive way. Uh, now, here in the Rio Grande Valley, we have still some uh, sorghum that was planted late. There are still on the uh, on growing stage and probably we have one more month to be harvested. Uh, people still need to be careful, need to monitor the fields and also they need to check what's happening because sugar cane if it's if that if the, if we don't have any more rains, the temperatures are going to go up, then we are going to have may pro we may have problems with the sugar cane aphids. One of the reasons we don't have large numbers of sugar cane aphids this year is because we have uh, natural enemies. One of the most important natural enemies are the parasitoids. Among them we have these aphelinos wasps that lay the eggs into the aphid and then this egg hatch inside the aphid and they start to feed uh, the, the aphids. So the, the, aphid, the aphids die, they are not going to develop anymore.